in in your perspective, what is the purpose of Earth? Is there a, some kind of a evolutionary blueprint uh, for the Earth that we are about to wake up to? I'm like bursting over here. <laughs> <laughs> This is like my favorite conversation. Oh, I love, I love this. And you brought up a few points um, here. Um, one, you know, is talking about like living systems, mm. and you know, yeah. What do what what do I, I've heard that uh, concept many times, but I don't really on what is living systems. Yes, yes, beautiful. So you just spoke to it actually when you're like, okay, these collective souls that are coming together that form this larger thing. So, you know, with this idea of two or more things coming together mm. and the sum is greater than the individual parts. Yeah. Right. That's, it's something we've heard before yeah. synergy, right? That is a principle of living system. So mm. I, I love to explain it by looking at our own body. We have individual cells and exactly. each individual cell is whole and complete yeah. Been around for billions of years, whole and complete millions of years, it's whole and complete. Now those cells might come together and form an organ. Mm. So now you have all these individual whole cells coming together to form another whole entity. And when they come together, they include each other and they transcend to create something larger than with yeah. a sense of purpose. Now, each of those um, organs, let's say, and all the systems of the body then come together as whole entities and work together to form the whole of you, your mm. body. Yeah. So your body is made up of many levels of wholeness, holonic yes. levels, right? Whole yeah. and complete transcend. Now your human body, like if I were to break your body into every single piece, Ken, like every piece of you from your plasma, blood, cells, hair, every single piece and mm. put it into buckets and boxes, would it be you? Mm, no, I don't think so. <laughs> right. So something happens when all those pieces come together. Mm that transcend and become the soul of you, a vessel. We don't, th th there's a mystery around this, right? We're not here to say, these are all the answers. This is the inquiry. Mm. And so here we have this living being that's made up of all these holes. It doesn't end there. Mm. So now we've got communities, right? Community systems, and we've got a human system, and we've got an ecological system. And then we have the earth as part of a planetary systems and, mm. you know, the whole cosmic and the quantum, like mm. on every level, micro mm. and macro, all these embedded levels of wholeness. And all of those levels inform and transcend, they also shape and affect each other, these nested systems from the micro to the macro. Mm. So when we look at the egg diagram, and we talk about how, like, as I work on my individual self, I ripple into the world and create change because yeah. I'm becoming more me. But I can't fully become more me unless I am also in touch and in tune with the wholeness exactly. and the deeper context for who I am and allowing that to ripple into me. Mm. It doesn't just go one way because mm. the, the larger entity, the soul of the world, the soul essence of the world also affects me. And when I unblock the feedback loops, when I work on the obstacles and the larger personality, however we want to apply that, I create a channel and a space to hear, to feel, to experience, mm. you know, to welcome in the larger wisdom that you were speaking of a few moments ago, the wisdom that's in the soul of the world informs mm. me. So that then says, well, now, oof, I'm feeling this pain. Like I am moved to participate. So how is life asking me to show up? So when we begin to become more aware and awake to this experience that I'm just speaking of, I then show up like in my personal life, when my heart broke up, broke open in my early twenties and it sent me on this path. I have, I can't tell you how many things I've created. I have literally huge events with 10,000 plus people. Like I've shown up in large ways in the world because I have been moved by something larger than me. Mm. My will has been super activated mm. and my ability to, to trust and tap into my gifts and to work on those gifts and, and, you know, strengthen them so that I can be in service in larger ways. And if I feel scared to do it, I work with that part because I know I need to show up. That is driven by my connection to being informed by the larger whole. So I'm a participant in every way that I can be imperfectly, perfectly imperfect, right? Mm. But in every way that I can be to creating this evolutionary shift. Mm. So that's one very important piece in what you just said. And there's one more thing I want to add to it. Mm. That right there, just I want to let that set <laughs> for a second because mm -hmm. that was a lot. 
I feel. 